It's been said, the family that rides together stays together. This is that story, a journey to Oz. Let's ride. To a biker, the word family means brothers and sisters who he or she can put their arms around, knowing they will be there through good times and hard falls. Bentonville, 2020. Meet the Mentons. Patrick, Sandra, Avery, and Gus. A mountain biking family from Winona, Minnesota. And some of the most intriguingly awesome people I've had the pleasure to meet. So I was scrolling through Facebook, and I think it was at like nine o'clock on a Monday morning, and I see that Patrick had created an event. MEA weekend, let's ride Northwest Arkansas. It's the Disneyland of mountain biking. <laughs> and there are like 75 people invited to this event. I had no concept of what the Disneyland of mountain biking really even meant, or how or why he was gonna get a whole herd of people from Southeast Minnesota to drive nine hours road trip to Arkansas to go bike there. But I know the Mentons, and I knew immediately that this is gonna be something that I needed to be a part of. We made it! Wait a second. How many people you got in there? Bonus kid, nice. Gus, man. I'm missing a wheel. <laughs> Drop it somewhere in Iowa. Yeah. And there go back. It's a long day in a car. I'm okay, <laughs> living on Cheetos and Truly. Jake, it's just Kool Aid. Right here. Oh, yeah. We're playing oh. that for sure. Remember, you gotta do one. Crank it up. <laughs> All right, we've been here, what, 20 minutes? What should we do? We should probably go somewhere. Rides and bikes. Far from normal. <laughs> Never mountain biked under a waterfall? Uh, no. Uh, just enough to slam his wheel right into the shark. You should have just ridden over it. Dude, this is a bad one. You got more wheels? No. We don't? Mm -mm. We're done for a while. For a while? What does that mean? Well, so you can find a shop. Alright, start walking, dude. You like the rim too, or just the tire? Done deal. <laughs> <laughs> the most amazing part of Oz Trails is the awning lights. The awning lights. She, she's cranking the tunes up over there. We're gonna get thrown out for that level of volume. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Sasquatch. It's like Bigfoot. Did you see it? No. So nobody Wait, yet has actually seen yellow? it. Or was it really? She would, she would Maybe she just doesn't have her contact. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, I saw it, it was white and it was scampering, and I was like, oh, you go scamper. Like that. Like a hedgehog thing or something? A possum? It's in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that an armadillo? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I did not scream. Okay? You did not hear me scream like a girl. <laughs> Dude, you gotta play that, that thing. Jake. Is that play thing that. endangered? I can't just kick it. What am I supposed to oh, do? Oh, that's your play. I can't it's punt it. it. <laughs> no. Because you were screaming. It's okay, okay. Okay, I don't want to hurt you. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying, what am I supposed to do? 
How did your voice get that high? Like, come on. It was maybe a little lighter than that, but that's exactly what it looked like. I see. You saw the tail? I see. Yeah, I saw. Oh, the things you'll learn. At the end of the park back here, there's a trailhead where the back 40 starts. And this takes you through all the back 40 all the way up to Missouri. <laughs> okay? How far is that? It's about probably some of these straight through. I would say straight up like that. It's probably seven or eight miles. All right. Straight up. But you got to wind with wherever the trail goes. Okay? And Missouri is Missouri? Missouri. Okay. Missouri. <laughs> Just making sure. We're from Missouri. Minnesota. All right, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Missouri, but I call it Missouri and everybody else goes, no, it's Missouri. No, it's Missouri. Anyway, <laughs> that's yours. Bentonville, Arkansas, the Oz Trails. Self-proclaimed mountain bike capital of the world, and I was soon to find out why. The trail system itself is impressively immense. Long flowing runs that all stem off a paved pipeline called the Greenway. The area is laced with special features, including unreal jump courses, paved flow tracks, rock ledges, and more. Bum track. <laughs> What's the point of it? I mean, it's kind of just like a... Um, you can get around this whole thing without pedaling once? To kind of pedal because they made an uphill corner right there, but otherwise you're supposed to just be able to just pump it. It's pretty cool. Trail infrastructure is what draws people from all over the country. But it's more than the trails. It's the culture that has been curated in this town. This community embraced the changing culture their new and growing trail system was creating and has literally developed into a high mountain ski town atmosphere for mountain bikers. From nothing. It wasn't always like this, but now it's a vibrant destination unlike any other. From boutique bike shops, street art, pop-up food trucks and brew pubs, you ride, you eat, you ride, you drink, you head back to relax, and crash. Speaking of crash, this trip got a little twisted for Gus Man. What's gonna happen? Uh, I'm not exactly sure yet. We're about to find out. They're gonna roll here any minute, and we're gonna see what Gus's spirits are. I just hope we don't have to go home tomorrow or tonight. <laughs> Does it hurt? I would imagine it hurts, but he's got some good pain meds right now. <laughs> We've been Slowest ER visit ever. And ever. And I don't even want to tell you. No, like medically, be happy you live in Minnesota. Just to say. I hit a jump. I went too fast on it. And then I overcleared it. Landed on my back wheel. My back wheel slid out. And then I landed on my arm. Which uh, yeah. broke my arm. So. What part? Um. My humorous, it's not that funny though. But yes, yeah, my humorous. You thought it was super fun. I was like, ah. <laughs> yes. Or just a case of like, <laughs> yeah. probably shouldn't have done that kind of thing. But that's how you learn. You gotta yes. have the crashes, you gotta have the flat tires, you gotta walk out. It was awesome though. And it was awesome. And that's how you, that's how you figure it out on your own. It makes you grow. Yeah. That's awesome. These guys are my neighbors. I've seen the progression happen over the last six or seven years. The kids get bigger, the bikes get bigger, the number of bikes grows. Then this last summer, it was the camper. Yeah. You want to see the master bedroom yeah. first? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Everyone always laughs when I call it the master bedroom. So here's our master, fancy. Oh, yeah. nice. Yep. So this is his dream right here. Yeah, he loves the idea of like hauling his house behind him and setting up shop and then he just likes to go to the locales. That's his focus. It's not the camping piece, it's the the going Experience. piece. You should get one of those like adventure vans. I know he really wants one of those like sprinter vans. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday I saw some cool adventure vans. Yeah. 
that'd be the way to go for gas mileage. And if it's just about being at the place, not the inside amenities, mm -hmm. that's kind of where we're at. I went on this trip thinking I'd be getting to ride some epic new trails and gather some sweet mountain biking content. I'd probably put together a mini vacation video for our families. And possibly I'd turn it into a clip showcasing an incredibly unique destination that many people don't know about. And it was all those things. But as I looked back, and as these spontaneous type of trips often are, it was more than that. With a little hint of um, concrete dust. <laughs> I'm not a mountain biker. I'm just a guy that says yes to new opportunities. Mountain bike season would hit and be like, hey, what's up guys? I haven't seen you guys in nine months. And what this often allows is to discover what it means to see a community that you may not even know existed. We often think of community as place, and it can be that. But when you open your eyes to see them, there are smaller, more connected communities all around us. Groups of like-minded people walking through life together for the good of each other. Ice climbers, fly fishermen, underground musicians, independent filmmakers, independent film watchers, and crazy traveling mountain bike families. So go find your tribe, get exploring, and live your adventure. Oh, oh, that's not good. Thing. We're in a video, remember that? Oh. Woo! Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Woo! Mountain biking! Woo! Benjamin! Did you guys have fun or was it boring? Fun. Fun.